Excellencies, my colleague, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to address you this evening after our court call on one of our own, Mr. President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who is one of the foundation members of this present Fourth Republic. As you all know, every one of us that is here was a governor from 1999. So we'd like to say we are the solid foundation which this poor republic has been thriving. We came to congratulate Mr. President and also to thank him for making one of us the secretary to government. We came to assure him that he has our full support and prayers for the bold steps he has started to take for his initiatives, and also let him know that this is beyond party politics. We are not talking about the Project Nigeria. Therefore, all hands must be on deck to give Mr. President the needed support and encouragement to foster a better country, a better nation. We also seize the opportunity to congratulate him as the new chairman of ECOWAS and assure him that we are with him. And any time he wants to dig into the wealth of experience of these very prominent and well-funded members of class of 99, he should be rest assured that we'll continue to give him the necessary support. On this part, Mr. President assured us that it is his dream to see a better Nigeria. And he wants us to also let you know that <laughs> The decisions that he has taken so far might be painful, but it's just like a child belt. In order to celebrate a child, you must go through labor. Therefore, Nigerians should be wait patiently and believe in him that he's going to come up with palliatives that will put smile on the faces of every one of us in Nigeria. So we believe him and we want to um, encourage you also to give him the necessary support through the media and give correct information to the general populace so that we have a greater nation. We talked about security, we talked about unemployment, and we talked about um, electricity, because without electricity, you really cannot develop. So for us to develop, then there must be constant, uninterrupted power supply. And the issue of subsidy is gone, and it's gone forever. Uh, people should start finding their, their level, and I'm sure with time, um, things will come to normal. And also the unification of the exchange rate into one now, as was also mentioned. So these are just the basic issues that we raised there. And um, Mr. President on this turn um, thanked us for coming en masse. Uh, you can see uh, in 1999 we were 36. But today, we are now 26. And I want to assure you that um, even though some of us have um, gone to the greater beyond, but the majority of us are still very much alive. And it is our prayer that um, <clears throat> we continue to be of service to our nation without um, any prejudices. So distinguished uh, gentlemen of the press, this is our short brief for this evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> 